the whole system that we live in drills into us that we're powerless, that we're weak, that our society is evil, that it's crime-ridden, etc. and so forth. It's all a big fat lie. We are powerful, beautiful, extraordinary. There is no reason why we cannot understand who we truly are, where we are going. There is no reason why the average individual cannot be fully empowered. We are incredibly powerful beings. You know, I think I spent 30 years of my life in the first 30, trying to become something. I wanted to become good at things. I wanted to become good at tennis. I wanted to become good at school and grades and, and everything I kind of viewed in that perspective. I'm not okay the way I am, but if I got good at things, I realized that I had the game wrong. The game was to find out what I already was. Find out what I already was. for individual differences to stand out. So you look at each person, the immediate kid is brighter, dumber, older, younger, richer, poorer, and we make all these dimensional dis distinctions, put them in categories and treat them that way. And we get so that we only see others as separate from ourselves in the ways in which they're separate. And one of the dramatic characteristics of experience is being with another person and suddenly seeing the ways in which they are like you, not different from you and experiencing the fact that, that which is essence in you and which is essence in me is indeed one. The understanding that there is no other. It is all one. And I wasn't born Richard Albert, I was just born as a human being. And then I learned this whole business of who I am and whether I'm good or bad or achieving or not, all that's learned along the way. sexual and religious chauvinism to rabid nationalist fervor are beginning not to work. A new consciousness is developing which sees the earth as a single organism and recognizes that an organism at war with itself is doomed.